Hi, hello, welcome to a new series. This is Stalker SFZ The Lost Story. Uh, we've already played the demo or preview campaign or episode, which was SFZ Episode Zero. Um, this is obviously the, the full experience. I've played the first 10 minutes or so of this in the past um, for setting things up and so on. But I don't know much about it apart from that. I think the story continues from episode zero, so you might want to check that out. Uh, there are certainly linked stories, uh, but I don't know how this story plays out. But let's just jump in. Uh, I, I believe there are some new gameplay mechanics, heat and cold and frostbite and so on, but we'll see these as we go. Suburban Station. So this is a new map, by the way. Previously, this area was in Good start. Previously, this area was inaccessible because of the high density of anomaly fields, and only a few people knew the safe way into this territory. But after the third blowout, everything changed radically. Part of the anomalous fields disappeared and opened the way for many adventurers who were eager to find something valuable and unseen until now. But unfortunately, the territory did not possess any secrets. However, one thing did interest a certain group of people. Task terminus. Um, okay, flashlight. Flashlight. Um, let's have a look at our PDA. Terminus. Check out this territory. Everything is gone. Excuse me, I just had a coughing fit. Everything is gone. The PDA is dead, and I also found myself in some strange place. But I'm alive, and that's a relief. I shouldn't have taken that jerk's artifact. Okay, I need to pull myself together and get out of here. But one thing bothers me: why is it so cold? Um, personal notes, manual overload, message history, nothing, contacts, nothing, statistics. Uh, my character's name is Prince. I think my character's name in the episode zero was different. I think he was called, he was called something else. I think. So maybe a different character. At the end of the episode zero, we went through some kind of teleporter, but I guess we're now a different character coming through a different teleporter. Um, anyway, let's have a wander around. New task, household arrest. Um, I, uh, it's lucky to show up in this particular place, at least not in an anomaly or a bloodsucker's lair. Explore the house. All right. Door is locked. It's a nice little, uh, oh, uh, Topical two years ago, but some kind of flu thing. Anyway, coughs and sneezes spread diseases. I guess we want to find. Do we have anything? We have nothing whatsoever. So we want to find weapons, supplies, everything necessary. Everything necessary. In case you haven't noticed yet, saving is limited. In addition to automatic saves, you can also save your progress in safe places near working tape recorders or radios. Save game. Oh cool, okay. It's just done. I like this feature, saving by radios, which they also had in episode zero. Doesn't appear to be anything here. There's some, there's some nice ambient music. seeing any any junk hearing anomalies as well which sounds like they're maybe outside this front door but I think this is boarded up by the next things so I guess we're not going that way I know we came from this way I just want to make sure we're not gonna not going to miss anything obvious okay where's it downstairs looks like there's nothing here though Another barricaded door. Got some Z fighting there by the looks of it. Multiple items spawn in the same location. I think it's called Z fighting when you get textures clipping through each other like that. Oh. Got doggies outside. There's old Lennon. Our boy. I hear wolves, but or dogs, I don't know. All the healthy symbols. All good stuff. This is kind of giving me uh, 
slight into the radius vibes, and I couldn't really say why, apart from the fact that they are... Oh, that is an anomaly there. I guess we could hop out the window if we wanted to. Let's see if there's any cool freebies. Um... <clears throat> nope. Oh. The key. That must be what we're looking for. Apparently this is the key to that closed door. Which closed door? Did we pass a locked door? I'm sure we did. But I don't want that. I want... Well, I want to find out where those corpses are. They're over here. Maybe they're in that room downstairs. That was a locked door, I think. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I'm getting slight into the radius vibes. I'm also getting maybe... Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Oh, he's got a gun. Anything else? Oh, hello. Um, take all the pistol ammo. Bandages. Let's have a look at this. An ordinary legal document which says about the military's cooperation with our scientists in Yantar for a number of unspecified experiments. The folder contains a handwritten note of some kind used to read the note. The anomalous activity in the area of the suburban station with the last blowout has decreased markedly. But some professors suggest the next emission with an 87% probability will increase the anomalous activity again and it will be impossible to enter the area again. Therefore, prioritize the research of the new type of arc anomaly and conduct other research as necessary. At the moment, we do not have extensive information regarding the new arc anomaly, but according to the data we have, it has some connection with the anomalous fields throughout the territory of the suburban station. So take this research seriously. Okay, so we're looking for an arc anomaly. Or an arc anomaly. We've got the old pistol. We're ready, we're gaming. I like the animations, they're pretty clean. Um, let's have a look at the map real quick. So we're here. This is obviously a completely new map, as far as I can tell. Um, and that puts us northeast of the dead city, I think. That's dead city. Um, there's Yantar, Rostock, Wild Territory, Dark Valley, and so that must be garbage. Don't recognize this. Oh, Agrobrom. Um, Swamps, Cordon, don't recognize that area. Um, I don't know how much of this we'll be able to explore, but anyway, we're here. Suburban Station. Which is a pretty cool looking area we've got. <clears throat> some fuel tanks or something, some gas tanks. Okay, well, we're definitely not going there. Can we go through here, though? Oh, oh hello. Any good stuff up here? Okay. Oh, 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 hello. Wait, <laughs> we've been here already. That's where the key was. Were we supposed to, were we supposed to come through the roof? I don't think. <laughs> Um, let's go downstairs again. I think we've seen everything up here. But we've got this key now. Unless we need to check inside these rooms. Yeah, let's just check here real quick. Well, that's... We can jump out that window, I'm sure, but... I want to go downstairs and see what's in that locked room. I want to see what's in there. Oh! Get out through the... Oh, okay, so get out through the underpass. We can't just... Jump out of the window? I thought we'd find guns down here or a body or something. Yep. Uh oh. Yeah. This is just this is just fantastic. So yep, he's got a PDA and some gamer fuel. Let's have a look. <clears throat> An ordinary legal document, military's cooperation with our scientists, yada yada. Let's have a look. Anonymous area, last blowout, extensive information. This is the same note as before, I think. Oh no, sorry, we, that's the note. This is the PDA, that's what we need. Uh, record the scientist's PDA, record information. Everything went wrong. <coughs> Ivanov seems to have done everything right. The transfer was successful. The anomaly reacted in the most unpredictable way. We all just scattered over the territory. Please get me out of here. There's something walking around. Oh great, wonderful, fantastic. That's just what I want to hear. Oh, we've got a gun, so... I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Why didn't that guy have a gun, though? Unless whatever killed him took it. 
I'm getting the sense that there's going to be this is going to be a very handcrafted experience. So there probably won't be, as with uh, episode zero, there will probably be very limited and pre-positioned resources. So we can't rely on grinding out new ones whenever we run low. So we have to be very conservative, I think, with everything we uh, everything we use. We don't want to run out of food. Footsteps down here, but I would, I would like there's no footsteps, but I would bet my bottom dollar there's going to be a bloodsucker or something. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Snork. You going, asshole? <laughs> Does he even know what he's doing? He can't even get down here, bro. He's so stupid. <laughs> Screw you, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You better run, bro. Oh, he's coming back. He's dead. That was... No one there. I think possibly he was supposed to come and attack me. I don't know. But it's fine. It's fine. We dealt with the situation. Although I think I wasted a fair amount of ammo. Got a ribcage down there by those things. A snork. Oh, this is kind of a neat snork model. It's kind of grimy and disgusting and decaying looking. The spines all poking out and stuff. I like it. It looks better than, uh, I think it looks a little better than the anomaly models. Search body F. He hasn't got anything there. Anomaly is my regular game, which uh, I play almost every day on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Daniel Nomad. Different vibe from this, much more of a sandbox experience. Anyway, let's creep on forwards. Yep, saving progress. Exit to the street, okay. Oh. This will be good. Task complete, household arrest. Hooray! Uh, now what? <clears throat> now what? So much snow, it's the middle of November. It's a little bit framey, which I'm surprised by. My rig can certainly, uh, new tasks, small needs, have a look. Um, I got out of the boarded up house, that's great. Now it wouldn't hurt to figure out where I am. I need to walk around the area and look for some supplies so I won't starve to death. And from the cold. Don't be shy about searching various interesting uh, places in the area. With a proper search, you can always find something useful. There's a pip on my minimap right here. On this tank, probably on top. There's a staircase over there. I'm guessing, well so far those pips have given me things that I've needed so let's go and have a little look, see if we can hop up here. I'm a bit sketched out by the old wolves howling, I don't know if they're real or ambient or what. I haven't got this far before in my, in my little brief playthrough, I never got out of the house, I just had to run around to make sure things were working. Um, I really thought I had to jump out of that upper window. I love this vibe, by the way, this winter vibe. It's reminding me a bit of um, The Long Dark. You know, it's got that kind of vibe to it. I love the music, the ambience. It feels really, really nice. I've always appreciated mods that place there's another pip down there. Somewhere in that building, maybe. Or oh, on top there. Um, I've always appreciated stalker mods that take place in the winter. I think the kind of desolation and the, the quietness and the kind of stillness uh, works very well with uh, some var some varieties of stalker. The zone feels like a really special place in this this time of year. Uh, oh, nice! We got forty extra rounds, a grenade, some more bandages, some matches. Now I know there's like a heat and cold system here, so maybe we can make fires with them. And another PDA. Let's have a look. <clears throat> um, transfer info, military PDA. Our guys had torn out an old warehouse not far from the train station. We were lucky enough to find a bunch of provisions, canned goods and more. Half that could be taken with us after the experiment. What we need to find, let's have a look at the PDA. Small needs. Yeah, need to find supplies. Doesn't specify more than that though. Walkthrough tips. Oh, here we go. Saving progress. Yep. Exploration. Don't be shy about searching places. We've read that already. Found information. We read those as well. Um. 
Okay, there's a pip over there. I don't know if that's on the roof or... It looks like there's a corpse on the roof to me. A bit sketched out by those... By those howls, yeah. But anyway, so um, it's getting to, you know, it's getting to the end of summer now when I'm recording this. We're approaching autumn, probably in the next month or so. Things will start turning. Um, heading in towards winter, and I'm looking forward to getting some sort of winter gameplay of, of Anomaly. Oh, that scared me. It was my own footsteps on, on snow. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some winter gameplay. That'd be nice. Get a winter mod installation of Anomaly. Get one of the heat and cold system installs for it. We've got Anomaly 1.6 maybe coming out in the next few weeks or months. It'll be fun. Uh, staircase there. How do I get up to that? Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. Just to find an, uh, another gun, like a rifle or something, would be really good. Uh, excuse me, I just had to cough. Um, I'm just getting over a chest infection or something like it. Oh, a key. Let's have a look. More game of fuel, another bandage. We're doing quite well for resources, although it is the very beginning of the map, so yeah, it'd be surprising if it wasn't kind of showering us with resources at this point. Uh, there's a. A flash, one, two, there's a boar there. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight so I don't antagonize them too much. Not that I'm there's another boar there by those things as well. Oh, there's like three over there. Three boar, two flash. That's not a fight, I mean boar are just terrifying. Especially with a pistol. I don't see any more pips in that direction on my mini map, so I'm gonna not jump down but get down. This vibe has uh, this vibe. This map has some kind of similar vibes to uh, places like I feel like a little bit like um, is it Reserve from Escape from Tarkov, with the train station and so on, and the the fuel tanks and stuff. I like these kind of industrial maps. There aren't many industrial kind of areas in the original Stalker. Oh, we should check out this key. Uh, key to the guard's cabin. Guard's cabin. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything very obvious. There's like fuel tanks. Not seeing anything there. Trains up there. Let's before we. Well, it could be a guard's cabin. That's obviously going out to where the boars are, so we're gonna be careful. Well, this is open, so clearly not a key to that. Um, okay, well, there are more buildings over here. Let's go and take a look. How are we doing for time? 7.48 in the morning. We've checked all this. An old camper van. Nothing in there. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Some kind of ventilation shaft. Oh, hello. What you got? <gasps> Ooh, hello. Okay, that's shotgun ammo by the looks of it. No gun though. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Um. Yeah, shotgun rounds. That's good. That. I think that's the house we started off in, right? There's a campfire nearby. Let's check this out. We're going to check that out last. God, there's those dogs again. It's <laughs> I'm just worried they're suddenly going to come charging out from nowhere and there'll be a whole pack of them or something. Oh, it's cold. I've got to find a place to keep warm or I'll freeze to death. Oh yeah, look, there are the two on the minimap. There are two pips in that building. I'm sure that's where we started. Um, oh, hello. <clears throat> Campfire and a radio. Not working. Oh, great. Okay, well, I'm able to light this. That's good. <clears throat> oh, that's cozy. What's that say? Warm up by the campfire and the radio's working. That's weird. Okay, we'll save the game. Have a little warm up by the campfire. I'm not sure exactly how the heat and cold system works. I don't know if there's a meter where I can check it, but we've warmed up anyway. Um, 
We have... Oh, I guess I've used all my matches. Okay. Uh, I thought I had a whole pack of something, but maybe you use a whole pack every time you... Uh, every time you light a fire or something. This could be a guard cabin. Looks kind of like a cabin. Is it a gate? Nope. Oh, hey! If you get frostbite, the corresponding hint appears on the screen. If you're cold, look for a burning fire immediately. With the frost, you'll not survive long, so warm yourself up often. Warming up by the fire takes one in-game hour. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Hey, now we're talking. Shotgun. Some more rounds. Reload this bad boy. Uh, Nashe. Pala. Dobiki? Oh, I don't know. Uh, our heroes or something? I don't know. <clears throat> Nashi is our, I know. Our or ours. Yeah, this is the place we, uh... Ooh, I don't know. What's this? They found our little base, Vitya. Yesterday, the military and the eggheads came here and started sniffing around. That shit on the wagon platform. Sniffing around that shit on the wagon platform. Uh, I'm shutting the fuck down and moving on north. I'll meet you here. Meet you there, rather. You know where to find me. Don't forget to pick up your stuff from the tower at the station. Good luck. See you later. Tower at the station. I guess that means train station. Well, we've got a, we've got a lead to follow. Can we get in here? Uh, no dice. No dice. All right. Okay. Um, hmm. Look, we've got to start anyway. We've got to start. What's all this in here? What's this? Anything? I like the, um... I like the... I like this. This system for, uh... Weapon collisions with, uh, solid surfaces and so on. It's, it's really neat. It doesn't by default exist in Anomaly, but there are mods which add it in. There's that blocked up door. Uh, maybe we missed something in here. <clears throat> we still haven't completed our first mission, which is to find supplies, as far as I'm aware. So we'll go and have a proper look around. Maybe we'll find something. And then we'll go look for that tower or whatever it's supposed to be. Oh, hello. Usually the food that was lying in the open air and such weather is not very suitable for consumption. First it must be heated, stand near any burning fire and use the object. Warm food is good for healing the body. Now we can go for a walk. Let's check out that construction site that's not too far from me. Hold on, let me read all these properly. Um, so, scouting. The frost was chilling me to the bones, but I was able to get warm and find at least some supplies, as well as a gun and a small amount of ammunition. It's good. I can last a little longer. Now I have to figure out how to get out of here. I know it's a construction site not far from here. Maybe there's something there. There are mutants hanging around for a reason, but I have to be careful. I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, it turns out that before the military and the scientists, there were some stalkers here. So the rumors were true. Someone knew this place and perhaps knows the way. I need to walk around the territory and find some clues. Maybe they will lead me somewhere. Um, and we need to get out of the rail terminal. Uh, freezing. We read the freezing tip. Food and healing. Food must be heated. Stand near any burning fire. Use the right object. Warm food is good for healing the body. Right, I think we're good. Completed our first two tasks. We've got some gear. We've got a nice roaring fire. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's, it's as good a place as any, and I don't know. I don't know what the pace is going to be like. How often we're going to get to stop by, you know, these little campsites and so on. So I'll take the breaks when I can. Um, so yeah, that's the first episode of uh, the full game of the SFZ. Uh, SFC project. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, if you come back very soon, we'll have the next, well, the following episodes and it will go on for as long as it goes on. I don't know how long it is. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, there's more stalker videos on this channel. You can drop a like or subscribe. That'd be really appreciated. You can also catch me live almost every single day, 6 p.m. GMT, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Enyo Nomad, where we play Stalker Anomaly almost exclusively. Uh, anyway, thank you very, very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.